Hey guys, it's Mansion. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where we talk about blindness, mom stuffs, and plus size fashion. Today, we are going to be talking about my guide dog's poop and or bathroom usage. Regardless, that is what we are talking about today. How do we as blind people know when our dogs are going to the bathroom and how to properly clean it up. I will also include some live footage of my dog using the bathroom. So let's talk about it first. Okay. So, you're blind and you got your very first guide dog. How do we indeed pick up our dog's poop and how do we know when they're using the restroom? Well, they teach you at school, whatever guide dog school you go to, they do teach you. There are a few key things that you have to remember. First things first is the leash. Our dogs have a very particular leash that allows you to make it short or longer. Obviously, when the dog's using the bathroom, you want the longer leash. That way they have room to walk around and sniff and decide what part is that magical spot that will help them go to the bathroom. So yeah, we keep a long leash. That is number one. Number two is for you to take your hand and travel down the leash, which you will see me do whenever I take my dog out to the bathroom. When the dog has to go to the bathroom, they do something that we call figure eight. That just means they're like flipping this way, that way, this way, and that way. For those who can't see, basically, they just kind of go in a circle. They flip back and forth. You can feel it in the leash. Even my dog, who is not a guide dog, does this. That's how I know that he's going to the bathroom and he's a big dog. I don't want him peeing on me. But my guide dog, when she does this and she stops moving, that is my cue that says, oh, she's probably going to the bathroom. Now, when you walk over to your dog, they will be in one of two positions. And this goes for boys and girls. Boys are different than girls. Boys stand up to pee. They don't sit, girls sit. So if you have a girl dog, when you touch their back, it should feel like they are sitting. A boy dog, what I suggest is let them have that moment, follow that leash, but don't get close because they lift their leg and they pee and you do not want your shoes peed on or you don't wanna get peed on. For number two, both dogs, boy and girl, do about the same thing. There will be a definite arch in their back. So think of a C that's kind of cut off. It'll have that slope or that curve. So when you walk over to the dog, you'll place your hand on their back and follow it down and you will feel the curve. But that's not all. What we're taught at school is to point your foot in the direction of their buttocks. Don't worry, they won't poop on you unless you get a little too close. But you point your foot in the direction of their backside. So that way, when you lean down to feel around for the poop, you will know in which direction you are feeling. So therefore, you should pick it up. At the school that I went to, which was the seeing eye, we used the term park time. So they park on the cement. If you have grass, they can also park in grass. When I went to college, they preferred me to park my dog in the grass because it's self-cleaning and they mow the lawn. With pavement, it's easy to just spray it and wash it down especially if they've done number two. Whenever dogs get used to going into the grass, they aren't gonna wanna go on cement when it's time to relieve them. If you need them to go on cement, do not get them used to going on the grass. That all said and done, let's go get the dog and take her outside so that way you guys can see what it's like for a blind girl to take her dog to the bathroom. I'm out with my dog. This is my long leash. She has to go to the bathroom and see how she stopped. We just fall the leash down and her back has a slant in it, so therefore she is peeing. Allison. Go park time. Go park time. She's sniffing around to go number two. As you can tell, there is an arch in her back, and she's going to the bathroom. It's a definite curve, and my foot is pointed towards her back end. She has gone to the bathroom. My foot is pointed. I will give you a shot and show you guys how I pick it up. This is where my foot was pointed. I 
think that is all of it. Allison, are you eating grass? Oh, wait, there was one more. <laughs> Hopefully you guys got something out of that. I know the footage was probably a little shaky. Uh, my little people were not available to hold the camera. So I do apologize for that. And no, I did not plan on talking about the texture of dog's poop in this video. I am not sure how good this camera is at picking up every detail. It's hot, it's hot, I'm sweating. <sighs> That's all I have for you guys today. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it in the comment box. Don't step on any dog poop, y'all. And we'll see you in the next video.